Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to set up X-ray for scanning a repository as well as how to create policies, watchers and reports. So first let us create the policies. Click watchers and policies. So the policies, it basically allows you to define rules to identify the security vulnerabilities and the license compliance. So now we'll create a policy for the security vulnerabilities. So click create a policy, give a policy name. Let's give the name as demo policy and we'll leave it as security. We have the other options as license and operational risk. You, if you want, you can give a description, demo policy. And then next is we need to add a rule. Click new rule, right? Give a rule name. So you have multiple options based on which you can create a policy rule. So one is right, you can select any severities and then you can say, right, if this is a minimal severity, then you uh, raise it as a policy violation, right? Or you will be able to give a raise a violation based on the CVSS score or based on the vulnerability IDs. Or even you have an option to generate violations only when there is a fixed fixes available for that particular vulnerability, right? and skip if there is any not applicable CVEs or if it is uh, you can create a policy if it contains malicious packages right and the automatic actions what all you'll be able to do so you can trigger a webhook or uh, whenever there is a policy violation or you wanted to notify the watch recipients or you wanted to notify through email all these things you should be able to do even you'll be able to create a JIRA ticket right okay uh, so but now we are going to create a policy where we'll say okay any severities if there is any severities then we are going to uh, consider that as a violation click save and click create so we have successfully created a policy now let's create a watch right so watch is basically for managing these uh, security and compliance violations right uh, so it it will allow you to select uh, what are the resources that need to be scanned right and check for and assign policies for which you wanted to check is there going to be any violation uh, let's set up a watch click set up a watch right so again here we need to give a name right so you can create a Add the email addresses of the watch recipients or if you wanted to enable you can uh, choose a jira profile right uh, so the manage resources so already i have a repository configured so i'm going to uh, create a watch for the repository so click add repositories uh, so i'm going to uh, i'll create any repository so which means i'm just going to uh, select both the repositories available right and then i'm going to click save right so I have added the repositories here. So the next is we need to add the manage. We need to associate a policies with that. So we have a policy, demo policy created. Uh, so let's associate that with that. Then click save, then click create. So we have created a watches, right? So we have created one watch and one policies. So we can create multiple policies and multiple watch. So we can go and see the uh, the scan list, right? The scan list you are going to uh, is going to give the the repository and the packages which has been scanned. So I have here one repository that is a local local. It's selected, right? And as part of that, we have three artifacts, right? So the three Docker images has been pushed. So you'll be able to uh, see the the first image. It has a uh, many one critical for high medium kind of thing so if you wanted to see more information on the vulnerabilities just click that so it is going to give you the details on the uh, since the violation has been just added now so you are not seeing any policy violations uh, so now let's see the s bomb so the s bomb is the software bill of materials so it is going to display about uh, all the components which are part of this image and what is the the, the component type and what is the version and it is what is the uh, license associated with the package so all these informations you'll be able to find under the s bomb then click security issues uh, 
click for vulnerabilities so you'll be able to see the different vulnerabilities right so you can see the, which component has a vulnerability whether there is a fixed version available what is the cvss course so all these informations will be available you can just click it to see more information about a particular vulnerability uh, so here again you can see it gives the information on the cvss score and which component which version and what is the jfrog severity right so it is like the severity here it may be uh, critical but from the jfrog perspective what is the severity and it further gives information on the what is the summary of this particular vulnerability and what is there any remediation available right and further details on that and why the jfrog uh, research team is giving this severity all these reasons uh, it's provided right so it even gives the information about the public sources where you get this information about the uh, particular vulnerability and how which where is the impact path because this we have run the scan for this image and this layer and from where actually is the impact path and if there is any references available so that information as well as any advisory see all these informations are provided here right and then now in jfrog we have an object ray we have an option called descendants basically this gives you the information about the, the all the components which are part of this particular uh, image right so it gives all these components which are part of this that information is provided here and this ancestor is generally if there is any other component using this that will be provided as a ancestor right and here again you have an option you can uh, further scan for any exposures so it is going to scan for it right and even you have an option for to export the scan data right so you can uh, create a scan results or you will be able to uh, do an xpdx format if you want to do or you want to do a cyclone dx format if you want to export it you can do it right so here we'll correct as pdf and then we'll select as the vulnerabilities and then we can click export So this report has the details about uh, the all the vulnerabilities, right? So you can clearly see here. So it gives this is for the component, this thing, and who exported it, right? What is the package type, and it then gives more information. Okay, now let us go and create a report. Click a report. So again, we need to give a name for this report. Right, and I'm going to create a report for vulnerabilities and its scope is repositories and we need to select the repositories so we'll select both the repositories and then click save right and you can use the advanced filters if you wanted to select based on something right and then click generate report so that ge report generation is running now so it is going to take some time for the report to be completed right so the report has been now generated right so you can view the report right so this gives the complete information on the what is the cve and what is the summary and it has a lot of uh, informations so you'll be, or if you want to export this you'll be able to export this as a pdf and then you'll be able to see the report To get the information on what is the issue severity issue cv is which component what is the summary impacted artifact what is the repo path when it was published whether any fix is available project key so all these informations are available in the report so let us push one image to the repository so that we can see whether the particular image uh, has any violations or not for that first i am going to pull an image from or docker hub so the image has been successfully pulled so now i'm going to tag it and then now i'm going to push it Now the image has been successfully pushed to the docker repository now let us go and see whether any violations reported so let's click the watch violations and this is the watch we have configured right so it is reporting for 100 plus violations 
so we can see click see the cv cv and the severity what type it is you will be able to and what is the component when it was updated so how many policies violations and what is the policy name so all these information are provided so let's go and see the scan test Active docker local so this is the one new image which we pushed you can see it has reported 735 violations and the state is active what is the severity risk and what type of it is what is the watch name and what is the policy which is reporting this right how about like whether it is reporting in the multiple components or if it is what is the component all these information is provided here and again you can see all the sbomb details here and the security issues you'll be able to see the vulnerabilities in this demo we have seen how to configure x-ray as well as how to create policies watches and reports thanks for watching the demo